What's up YouTube? Today we are talking about my new EDC backpack, which is the Rucksack by Nutsack. So let's get into it. So again, this backpack is called the Rucksack by Nutsack and the fine folks over at Nutsack were kind enough to send this guy to me for free to give it a try and see how I liked it. There are no other strings attached, so all opinions stated in this video are my own. This backpack is, as you can see, mostly meant to be used as a top loader backpack, meaning that you do have this lid and a rain flap underneath that and you can simply undo it and you can get into whatever it is you might want to get to at any particular moment. But other than most top loader backpacks, it does also have some unique features which allow you to utilize the space inside of the backpack much more efficiently, in my opinion. But before we get into that, you do also get a flat zippered pocket on the front underneath the lid. You do also get a flat zipper pocket in the main compartment, as well as two quick stash pockets and obviously your notebook compartment. Aside from that, you do also get flat side pockets, which are held in place with these rather nice looking Acorn branded brass buttons and which you can simply undo and then they will be big enough to even house tripods and large bottles and all that stuff but they do fold flat on the side of the backpack which is very nice anyway what really makes this guy so unique is on the other side on the back you do get this hidden zipper that covers pretty much the whole length of the back and you can simply open that guy and get into the main compartment straight away so that obviously gives you a whole new range of capabilities to organize your backpack and to get into your stuff. So let's get into how I've used this backpack over the past couple of months. So there are two main ways that I used to set this guy up to make it fit my needs for my everyday life. First of all, the main EDC bag that I've been using before I got in this rucksack was this little satchel, which is also made by Nutsack and which I've also gotten for free by, by Nutsack, the bag company. And this is an 11 inch sized satchel bag which is more than enough for everything I need during the summer months but now obviously it's winter and we're also in another lockdown so I need to transport my notebook more often than not and that calls for something that is capable of carrying more for the most part that means my notebook and jackets and maybe something to drink and warmer clothing like gloves and all that good stuff so what I did for the fall months when I was still in a transitional phase between these two bags was that I pretty much just set this guy up as I usually would and opened the lid, opened the zipper and stuck it inside of the backpack so that I was able to get straight into the contents of this bag through the zipper that is on the back side of this backpack. And if I didn't need the whole backpack because I was going into a restaurant or just shopping in the city or whatever, I could simply take this guy out of the backpack, leave the backpack in the car or at home or whatever and use this for my day-to-day -day life. But if I needed to transport more, especially as I said before, a rain jacket and warm layers and all that good stuff, I could simply put that guy in the rucksack and put all the other stuff around it to keep this guy in place and it worked fine for me. But obviously since winter has now fully arrived, I rarely ever go back to carrying the small nutsack. I do have a setup that is unique to this backpack and let's get into that. So the best feature as I said before of this backpack aside from its materials and its overall build quality is the side access zipper which allows you to quickly reach for stuff that you might otherwise not get to because this is a top loader for the most part. So what I did is I bought a camera insert and in there I do carry my Fuji X100V with the wide conversion lens attached most of the time. I also like to carry my Fuji X-T30 mostly with the 10 to 24 millimeter lens attached and my DJI Osmo Action. And this is a new camera for me. I just got this last week, the Sony ZV-1. I'm just trying to figure the setup out. But yeah, you can carry a lot of stuff as you see inside of a small camera cube. And because the camera cube doesn't take up the whole width of the backpack when it's laid sideways in there, I can still store my sunglasses and the small tripod and my jackets and water bottle beside that camera cube. So everything is being held in place and I can utilize all the space. If I want to get to my jackets or my bottles or whatever, I can simply 
reach to them from the top down but if I want to quickly get to my cameras which is what I really like to use this quick access for I can simply undo the side zipper and away you go. So in terms of comfort and durability this is as I've said before made out of waxed canvas and it is water repellent. I have actually been using this in the rain and I haven't had any issues with moisture building up inside of the backpack. Also I've been using this for some hiking. I've uh, hiked up some small mountains in the area I live in and I haven't had any issues. I did carry my, all of that camera equipment that I just mentioned up on that mountain and these straps are very very nicely and comfortably padded. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. Obviously you do get sweat building up on your back but I do get that anyways at least if I'm hiking up a mountain so never mind that but the back is comfortable the straps are comfortable you don't get a chest strap which might be a bad thing for some of you I rarely ever use a chest strap it's sometimes nice to have but I honestly haven't missed it on here um, but yeah as I said it's a comfortable backpack nothing to complain about the top handle is also made out of leather so it feels very very comfortable and secure and yeah haven't had any issues with the overall quality none at all actually it feels really really solid and like something that would stand the test of time and I think it looks amazing. I'm a huge fan of the overall aesthetics and the build quality. I love it. And this is the kind of backpack that I would imagine a brand like Filson or Barbo would make, but actually it's not sex. So I'm glad they did. And it's a great design and I hope they continue along that path. So some quick features that I would like to see added on this backpack are straps on the side to keep especially tripods or larger bottles in place. That would be a nice feature and also I would like to see them uh, improve on that zipper as I said the zipper on the rear side is the main feature and one of the headline features for me for this backpack but obviously if you stuff this backpack full it can be harder to get into the stuff and to just open this backpack and to reach for bigger items like cameras for example so what I would like to see them implement is some kind of mechanism, something like maybe like the one they used on the side pockets so that you could undo a button either on the top or on the bottom and uh, get a wider opening so that you would have more space to reach for or put away uh, whatever stuff you might want to use or want to put away. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe and all the good stuff. Anyway, again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.